Hi everybody, I'm gonna do. Hi everybody, I'm back. Gonna do an update here on uh, my big army man project. Um, it's been a while since I had worked on this project, um, so I'm gonna fill you in w on what I've done. Um, here's a little recap of what what they are. They're just very large uh, army men, uh, kind of like action figure size. Um, and here's the the first video I talked about. I repainted this guy. And I, I, recut, I cut his arm off and put it up more in like a, a victory pose. Um, so no news to report on this one yet. I uh, haven't gotten back to, to working on this one. A, a lot of things have come up. Um, so yeah, um, but besides that, I, I had the other... I, I started working on this guy. Um, so I primed him up and uh, I was... My original idea was just going to paint him in a, a different color, maybe like a... A traditional green uh, fatigues, I guess. Uh, but then had this other idea to maybe um, to do something more, a little more fun. And uh, so I had the idea that he looks like he's kind of throwing a baseball. So I thought it would be funny if I if I painted him up to look like he's a, a baseball player. And because uh, the clothes kind of are the same almost, they're real kind of baggy. Uh, the jacket is is kind of thicker than a shirt would be, but I think it kind of worked. So here's what I I did. So I repainted them as a uh, uh, kind of Cincinnati Reds inspired team. Um, they are my favorite team, so I thought I would start with them. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see what the white would do as well. Uh, you can see there's kind of like. Uh, Let's see if I can zoom in here. Uh, well, it doesn't seem it doesn't really want to zoom in, um, but you might get the idea that there's kind of like little scrapes on his hand and whatnot. Um, and after this, I painted a, another C on his on his arms there, and uh, I'm debating whether to write the the team name. I might make up a team uh, to write on his chest there. Uh, I just I just get kind of base coats. Uh, I did a little bit more on the skin uh, of his face there, um, and the grenades there. I just painted this like really bright green. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a little weathering on it. Uh, so that's roughed in, and uh, here's another angle here. Get a little better view. Um, yeah, just kind of roughed in the, the colors there in his eyes and made filled them in too. So this one doesn't look too bad. There's a definitely a lot of little things to fix up, but the plastic is so uh, so brittle that it's really tough to do that there. And you can see on his nose there, he's got like a little gouge in it, as well as his uh, mouth. Uh, but it turned out pretty well. And another idea here for you guys is um, I was going to make a little base for him. Uh, I, I guess I'll put him on, uh, maybe make him in the outfield or or whatnot. So I got, what this is, is a the, the lid to a candle, a, a little metal candle. So he fits nicely in there. And what, I'm gonna, well, what I've already done is I filled it up with some, uh, uh, some like, I think it was... Plumber's putty, or, or some, I forget what the, the bucket is, but uh, I use it a lot for uh, making diorama. So I filled that up to about level, and I, I'm i going to spread some dirt over it and uh, glue it down with some hot glue, or white glue, I'm sorry. So that, that turned out pretty cool. Uh, so I like, I like this idea. I think it's pretty hilarious. Um, there's some other things I could do to it. I might, might do another one. The other figures paint some pinstripes on them too. Let's see if I can, how I can do that. I, I painted uh, went ahead and painted his boots red there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, and the stripe was a little hard to paint. My paint was a little uh, wasn't working out too well that day. But uh, I fixed that up a little bit, so it looks a little bit better from from here. Uh, but I think this is pretty hilarious myself. Uh, let me know what you guys think and. Um, let me know what some other ideas are for uh, the rest of the figures there.
And uh, soon I'll do the uh, update on this guy a little bit later. But I'm kind of inspired with this guy right now, making a little mini diorama here. Um, so yeah, that's all for now.